you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are so elated that you have chosen to spend your Sunday worship experience with us. On behalf of our pastor and first lady, the ministers and members of Beulah Refuge Tabernacle and First Refuge of Barnwell, we say welcome. Service will begin momentarily. We invite you to like and share this live stream service at this time. We also invite you to be active in the comments, to give praises to our Lord, encouraging to the worship leaders and the man of God as he brings forth the word on this morning. God, a hand clap praise in the house on this morning for Hallelujah. his goodness and his mercy and his love, his kindness, his grace that he showed towards us each and every day. Great is thy faithfulness towards us in the name of Jesus. We have come into this house to gather in his name to worship. Hallelujah, we have come into this house to gather in his name to worship him. Hallelujah, we have come into this house to gather in his name to worship Christ our Lord let us worship him Christ At 
this time we have our prayer scripture coming from Deacon Baxter, in Jesus' name. Oh, heaven of Father, Lord Jesus. We want to thank you, Father, for allowing us to see this day, Lord. For, Father, that you, you have mercy upon us, O oh Lord, that you allowed us, Father, to give you a thank one more time. Father, help us, O oh Lord, that we always look to you. Which cometh our health, Lord. There's time, Father, we fall short, Lord Jesus. But, Father, you know our heart and you know our mind, Father. Help us, Father, to stand according to your word, Lord Jesus. Father, there's things out there, Lord Jesus, want us to turn away from you. But, Father, it's you is our leader. You is at the head of our life, Father. Father, I'm asking you to help me to stand. Help those that who are in the hospital. Those that who are trying to stand for you, Lord. Jesus. Those that who forgot the word of God. Yes, Lord. Those that um think that they can do it on their own, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Those that who got lost. Me, Those, Lord, that in a nursing facility. Don't know how to pay their bills, Lord Jesus. Those that got hurt and pains, Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Father, that we got to have to give you the credit. Those are who protecting our nation, yes, Lord, Lord Jesus. Those in other countries, Lord Jesus, that went about their own way and don't acknowledge you. Lord, help us, Lord. Help us to give you the grace. Help us to repent, Lord Jesus. Help us to repent, Lord Jesus. There's nothing under the sun that you don't know, Lord Jesus. You can't hide from him. Those think that they can hide. <laughs> uh, God, you know where we stand in you when we fall short. That we have to give your name the praise and the honor, Lord Jesus. Help those, Lord Jesus, that left the church. Help those, Lord Jesus, to come back, Lord Jesus. Make a way, Lord Jesus. Make a way. In Jesus' name we pray. Our scripture be coming today. Coming from Romans, the eighth chapter, starting at the fifth verse. Those who live according to the flesh have their mind set on what the flesh desires. But those who live in accordance with the spirit have their mind set on what the spirit desire the mind governed by the spirit is death but the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace i have a mind to govern by the flesh is hostile to god it does not submit to god law nor can it do it so. So those who are in the remnant of the flesh cannot please God. We want to thank God for the reading of the word. Amen. And let it apply to ourselves. Yes. In your name we pray. Amen. Let's give God a hand clap praise for the word in Jesus' name that we might not just be hearers but doers of the word of God in Jesus' name. Oh, unto thee, O oh Lord, Lord, will I lift up my soul. Unto thee, O oh Lord, will I lift up my soul. My God, my God. Come on, clap your hands. I trust in thee. Oh, and let me not be ashamed. Or let my enemies triumph over me. Yes, oh, oh unto thee, O oh Lord, will I lift up my soul? Unto thee, O oh Lord. Shame, but let my enemies triumph over me. Yes, oh, oh, unto thee, O oh Lord, will I lift up my soul? Unto thee, O oh Lord, will I lift up my soul? Unto thee, O oh Lord, will I lift up my soul? Unto thee, O oh
Lift up my soul. Unto thee, O Lord. Will I lift up my soul? My God, my God. Yes, Lord. I trust in thee. Oh, let me not be ashamed. Let my enemies triumph over me. Yes, over me. Unto thee, O Lord. Will I lift up my soul? Unto thee, O Lord. Will I lift up my soul? My God, my God. I trust in thee. Oh, let me not be ashamed. Let my enemies triumph over me. Yes, oh, unto thee, O Lord. Will I lift up my soul? Will I lift up my soul? Unto thee, O Lord. Will I lift up my soul? My God, my God, I trust you. I trust in thee. I trust in thee. Oh, well, let me not be ashamed. Oh, well, let me not. And let me not be ashamed. Let my enemies. And let me not be ashamed. Let my enemies. And let me not be ashamed. Let my enemies. And let me not be ashamed. Let my enemies. And let me not be ashamed. Let my enemies. And let me not be ashamed. Let my enemies triumph over me. Yes, oh, oh, it's a bubbling. It's a bubbling. It's a bubbling in my soul. It's a bubbling. It's a bubbling. It's a bubbling in my soul. Some people just don't understand it. Why I sing and shout? Cause it's a bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. It's a bubbling. It's talk about the Holy Ghost. Talk about the Holy Ghost. It's a bubbling. It's a bubbling, it's a bubbling in my soul. It's a bubbling, it's a bubbling, it's a bubbling in my soul. Some people just don't understand it. Why I sing and shout? Cause it's a bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. It's a bubbling in my soul. If the Spirit of the Lord is bubbling in your soul, come on, clap your hands. He's worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for your son, Jesus. And thank you for the Holy Ghost. He's a good God and worthy to be praised. Come on, clap your hands in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's a good God and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. You are my strength, strength like no other, strength like no other, reaches to me, you are my strength, oh God, yes you are. Strength like no other, strength like, strength like no other, reaches me. You are my strength, you are my strength, oh God, strength like, strength like no other, strength like, strength like. Reaches me. You are my hope, Jesus. You are my hope, hope for the journey, Lord. Hope like no other. Hope like no other. Reaches, reaches me. You are my peace. You are my peace. Peace 
like no other, peace like no other, peace like, peace like no other, reaches, reaches to me. Oh, 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 in the fullness, in the fullness of your grace, in the power. Oh, bless 
for being my companion, Jesus. Hallelujah. For being my best friend, Jesus. Hallelujah. For being the one I can talk to, Jesus. Hey. You're so good, Jesus. Hey. Hey. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Such a good God and he's worthy to be praised. I love you, Lord. And I lift my voice to worship you. Oh, my soul, rejoice, take joy, my King, in what you hear, so let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ears, oh, I love And I live my voice to worship you, oh my soul, rejoice, take joy, my King, in one. you but i know god's got great things in store for me eyes haven't seen nor ears have heard the great things that god has in store yes, Lord. see what the lord has done i'm gonna sing this song we're gonna change gears but i just feel the song in my heart can you see what the lord has done what you've been waiting for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. Can you see it? Can you see what the Lord has done? You got to see it. Can you see what the Lord has done? He's going to do it in time. What you've been waiting for has come to pass see what the lord has done eyes have seen nor is heard can you see what the lord has done 
what you've been praying for has come to pass see what the lord has done eyes haven't seen nor is heard can you see what the lord has done what you've been waiting for has come to pass see what the lord has done our pastor always says it's our job to believe it's god's job to do whatever he chooses to do but it's our job to believe him so do you believe what god can do for you if you believe it come on sing it with us with a robust heart mind and voice everybody over the building oh can you can you see what the lord has done come on tell the devil to shut up can you see what the lord has done would you what you've been waiting for has come to pass see what the lord come on everybody come on see what the lord has done see what the lord has god can do can you see what the lord has done what you've been waiting for has come what you've been waiting what you've been waiting has come, has come. Yes, what you, what you've been waiting for, has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. Now come on, praise Him in advance. Hallelujah. Praise Him in advance. For He that have already, Lord, we believe He will do. Lord, we believe you. Lord, we believe you. Lord, we believe you. Lord, we believe you. Come on, come on. Lord, we believe you. We shall perform. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. You better praise him like you see it. Yes, Lord. You better praise him like you see it. Hallelujah. For he shall. Yes, Lord. Lord, we believe you, Jesus. Lord, we believe you, Jesus. Yeah. For he that have already done will do and bring it to the ability. Lord, I Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We pray to Jesus. We pray to Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, praise him, praise him. Yes, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus.
I'll say praise the Lord. Amen. Certainly. It is a good thing the Bible said to give thanks unto the Lord. Give him praise. Oh, ye people. That the Lord inhabits. He makes it his dwelling place in the midst of the praises of his people. God comes where praise is. My God. The walls of Jericho stood almost 40 feet thick but when they got through marching around the walls of jericho they shouted a praise unto god and the bible said the walls fell inward praise the name of the lord amen and god pushed it down my god in the midst of the praises of his people what an amazing god we serve i bless his wonderful and adorable name lord jesus christ Amen. I love him because he's a lover of my soul, the peace of my mind. Amen. The guardian of my way. And I bless him today. We certainly give honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We give honor to all of our ministerial brethren, in the presence of our sister pastor, Ella Kelsey Mack, the sister pastor, Ella Willis C. Hampton, to all of our deacons, our mothers, amen, to our church mother, in her absence, who is somewhat under the weather, keep Mother Dunning in your prayers. And we certainly bless God for our First Lady Ship, Mother Smith. She too is under the weather. So keep them both in your prayers. Uh, the Lord will bless and undertake for them. We certainly honor each and every one of you assembled in the house of the Lord. And we bless God for his presence in our midst. We want, to, I have several things I need to ask you to do. Let's remember our sister, sister Meg Benjamin, who's in the hospital. Amen. Keep her in your prayers and the Lord bless her. Thank God she's doing better, but still, amen, there's some things that has to be done. So keep sister Meg in your prayers. I'm also asking you to remember uh, my assistant pastor in Barnwell, Donald Danner. Um, he has to be in Mississippi for the next two weeks for training session on his job, but he got word just before he was leaving this morning that his oldest sister in upper state New York passed. So keep Ella Danner and his family in the passing of his sister uh, in your prayers in Jesus' name. And we certainly bless the Lord. Now, I need I need a big favor from you all, the members of Beulah, uh, on next Sunday. Uh, we know that uh, Dr. Shirley Martley uh, from uh, Columbia is going to be here with us. Y'all know that Dr. Motley and I go way back to my first days as a pastor in the early 80s. Amen. She and her sister, the late mother, Janie uh, Myers, and all of her family. But uh, uh, thank God for Dr. Motley. I was there that Saturday night. My God, when God slayed her in the spirit in on the corner of Taylor and Harden Street in Columbia. Praise the name of the Lord. Lord, baptize her in the Holy Ghost. Amen. And she's going to be here. I know Sister Glow is going to uh, talk about it. But I want you to please, ma'am, and please, sir, be here next Sunday morning as Dr. Motley will be presenting her book of, of perusal. I think I'm saying it wrong in the book of Revelation. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. She's a very educated woman, a very dedicated woman. And a very Holy Ghost filled woman. And I know that you're going to be blessed, amen, by her. Amen. A woman that refused to allow her circumstances and her conditions to limit her. Amen. And I certainly bless her. Had to raise all of her children by herself. Amen. But she did it. And God 
performed a great work in our life. So be here. I know you're going to be blessed. And then on that afternoon, I'm going to ask our sister, Pastor Ella Hampton, if he's going to be off or not on the road driving, amen, to load up the bus with y'all and bring you to Barnwell for 4.30 service in Barnwell. Uh, my good friend and brother, who's like a young brother to me, amen, District Elder Douglas Albert, pastor of the Emanuel Church in Swansea, is going to bring his congregation to Barnwell on next Sunday afternoon for a 430 service. And I'm asking Beulah to please come and join uh, the saints there in Barnwell on next Sunday afternoon for this special service uh, at 330, at 430, excuse me, 430 on next Sunday afternoon. Amen. And we're looking forward to the blessings of the Lord and we certainly praise God. We want to thank God for all of you that have kept our uh, mother Ruth Young and her family and your prayers in the passing of her brother. Thank God for those from Beulah. Our sister Pastor Ella Mack was there. Mother Smith and Mother Sister Wright was there to support the family. And I certainly appreciate it. And all the other ones that were there to take food by them. Sister Huggins and Mother Smith and some of the other ladies were able to go the other day and take food to the family. And whatever you may have done, I know you were praying for them. And I know Mother Young appreciates it also in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. God bless you. We bless the Lord. I think I did about half of Sister Glow's job this morning. And she'll excuse me. Amen. But we will certainly bless the Lord. And then we praise God for all of you in the name of Jesus. And at this time, our Sister Benjamin is going to give us our offertory directions. We're going to ask our assistant pastors to please come down and greet you in the name of Lord Jesus, Sister Benjamin. Gracious God, we bless you. We thank you, Father, for the echoes of the child. And said, praise the Lord. The Lord receive even perfect praise from the mouths of babes. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We thank you for this opportunity of giving and sharing with the work of the Lord. Because we know, Lord, and we are assured that it is more blessed to give than to receive. That you are bound by the oath of your own mouth through your prophet. That you will return it unto them, Lord, 30, 60, even a hundredfold. Bless now, Father, both the gift and the giver. Multiply the gift, increase the giver. Do it all for your glory. And we'll praise you and magnify you. Is your servant's prayer now. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us be in the directions of our ushers. Give an honor to God on this morning to each person that's here on today. We welcome you to Beulah Refuge Tabernacle, 469 Landfill Road. Amen. We praise God for you being here. Even those that are via Facebook Live, we say praise God unto you on today. We'd like to say a very special Happy birthday to Mother Lucille Lee, who reached 100 years on yesterday. Praise God for Mother Lee. Amen, amen, amen. We praise God for her on today. Amen. As we've already mentioned, there is ABYPU this afternoon. This afternoon at 3.30 at United Church. 
So please be in attendance for our youth service today at 3.30. On Wednesday the 14th is Valentine's Day, amen? We're going to have a Valentine's Day dinner here this year. As we have mentioned, if you are a seasoned couple, we want you to come. If you're flying solo, we want you to come. Amen? So be there on Wednesday night at 7 p.m. for fellowship, food, and fun. Amen? We have um, on, on Thursday, there is an improvement council meeting at 6 p.m. M. And on Saturday, the 17th of February, is our planning session via Zoom. Amen. Next Sunday, as our pastor has stated, sisters in the heart and brothers too. Amen. Our Dr. Shirley Motley will be our speaker that morning. And don't forget your contribution that day, what you need to pay on that day. If you don't know, call or see our sister right. Our pastor's already talked about um, Sunday afternoon, our, our elder Albert being with us in Barnwell on that day. Remember to pray one for another. Our mother Dunning called us on this morning and say she's not sick, but she's a little under the weather continue to pray for Mother Dunning on today. For our sister DeBetta, continue to pray for her. Our sister Zoe, amen. Continue to pray for her on today. And we want to give our Deacon Frank Simpson for being back in the sanctuary on today. Love you, Brother Frank. <laughs> God on today. Um, our thought for the week, being with no one is better than being with the wrong one. Sometimes those who fly solo have the strongest wings. Amen. God bless. I'm a soldier, battlefield. I'm a soldier, I'm on the battlefield, and I'm fighting, I promise him I would serve him till I die, yet I'm fighting, I've had hard and pain, sunshine and rain, yet I'm fighting, I've been up and up and down, but I'm level to the ground, but I'm fighting. fighting for if I hold out, hold on, hold out, hold on, said I know. Say it one more time. I'm a soldier. I'm on the battlefield and I'm fighting. Fighting, fighting for the Lord. Through my heart and champagne, 
sunshine and rain, yet I'm fighting. fighting I've been up and up and down, but I never turn around. Yes, I'm fighting. fighting for the Lord. If I hold out, hold on, hold out, hold on, help me sing. Hold yeah. Hold yeah. Hold yes, Lord. Hold Should I know? Pray it from me. Yeah, no pain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Said I'm on. Should I mourn? I'm fighting for the Lord. Final Christian soldier. I'm on the battlefield. So time to get rough out there. So time to get tough out there. Final Christian soldier. Somebody say glory. Somebody say glory. Come on and give him some praise. Hey, 
Thank you, Jesus. And it is a battlefield. No doubt about that. You can say amen to that. And you promise the Lord, you're going to serve him until I die. You're on the battlefield. You as an example of what God can do and is doing. We just thank God. We're not going to prolong the time. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we just thank you, Lord, for another time and another opportunity to bring forth the word of God in your house. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you would just continue, Lord, give us all that we need and all that we desire to continue, Lord, to let this house, what you had called it to be, we thank you for the blessing. In the name of the Jesus, our Redeemer, the Lord, say amen. And we greet all of you on the side of our Lord, the pastor, Deacon, the missionary, and all those that are watching from various places, we're just glad to be here. And all the Super Bowl watches, we're just glad to be here. It looked like, uh, what's the name? What's the young lady name? Uh, Taylor Swift. Looked like more centered around her than the Super Bowl. But we know who is the super one in our life. We gonna. I, I want my wife to quote again the the quote that she just read. For the, I, I like that. I want her to give it, get that to us again, because it's all like falling in line with the word that God has given me. Be with no one. It better be than being with the wrong one. Amen. Amen. Thank God for that. And we're going to look at and see the message of a young man who stand out with the, stand out from the crowd. His name is Jeremiah, the prophet. And the day being the young people, Sunday, is fall right in line with that. For this cause, I ask God to bless the word that it go forth, and it will accomplish what he will for it to accomplish. I asked my wife to read for me Jeremiah 15, chapter 15, and the 16 verse. Oh Lord, thou knowest. Oh Lord, thou knowest. Remember and visit me. Remember and visit me. And revenge me of my persecutors. Persecute. Keep not away mm -hmm. in thy long suffering. Amen. Right. Know that for thy sake. For thou sake. Yes. Thy words were found, and I did eat them. Hold that, hold it right there. Thy word was found, and I did what? Eat them. Eat them. That's my thought. I hope you take it with you and keep it in mind. Eat the word. Eat the word. Eat. The word. Read on. And thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. Hold it there again. The word, the rejoicing of my heart. Read on. For I have called by thy name, O Lord, God of And I want you to pay attention because it's like you can see Jeremiah all over the scriptures. Jeremiah. He was like a loner. He was you're not going to understand your calling all the time in the Lord. You're not going to understand. You can forget that. But if, Jer if God got a calling on your life don't worry. You're going to fulfill that calling. And Jeremiah, God had a calling on Jeremiah. Like he was, he was a child. He didn't understand the calling. But I thank God that when you eat the word, you, you'll know your calling sooner or later. That's all you got to do, just eat the word. You, you eat that word, you're going to have joy. Now, this kind of joy, the world can't give it to you. Jeremiah said, when I eat the word, huh, then the joy of my heart. See, a certain kind of joy can only come from God. Only come from God. And this kind of joy that I'm talking about, you sing the song, the world didn't give it to me. 
and the world can't take it. Jesus said, the joy that I have given you, the world can't take it. Well, let's look at Jeremiah. Now, Jeremiah, to my knowledge, if you look in the 16th chapter, the first and the second verse, the word of the Lord came also to me saying, thou shalt not take thee a wife, neither shall thou have sons of daughter in this place. And I think about Israel. I think about the birthplace of Jesus, God in the flesh. Now I want you to listen to this real good. How many times you have looked at, let's make a deal. Come on now, let's make a deal. That's one of the shows that gives away a lot of gifts and money. Call. Let's make a deal. Have you ever tell me or pointed out, ever heard them say, you been a trip, new car, going to Hawaii, going to a, a popular place uh, where you can just relax and just enjoy. Have you ever heard them say, you going to, you going to win a trip going to Jerusalem? I know I've never heard it. Win a trip going to Jerusalem. Why that? Jerusalem is the most important place on the faith of the earth right now. The most important faith. Because when you take a trip to Jerusalem, you can't help but understand it's a, it, it got to be a spiritual thing. In spite of all that Israel is going through, it's a dark period for Israel now. It always has been. Jeremiah, he was a loner. Don't take a wife in this place. Why? Because Israel was so corrupt. And yet, Israel is the place that you and I know God got his hands on Israel. No one can take Israel. He's still the, she's still the apples of God's eyes. We are too, but Israel have always been the apples of God's eyes. So when God called Jeremiah to preach the word, Jeremiah was hurt. Jeremiah was saddened because of his rejection. Whenever Israel goes into captivity, who was there? Jeremiah. Jeremiah was hurt. He was disappointed. But yet and still, can you imagine a young man like Jeremiah, the Lord said, don't take a wife in this place? Why? Because if the system's so corrupt and you marry, your sons and your daughters going to be corrupt too. There ain't no way that they're going to come out right. But Jeremiah, loved, God loved Israel so much. Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Now, you and I know there were a time when the name of Jesus in Jerusalem couldn't be mentioned without someone being put to death. But look at it now. They said the president, Netanyahu, will open the door, welcoming the Gentile church to be established in Israel. Welcome the name of Jesus. Welcome the Messiah. That letting you know that God had orchestrated that and let us know that what? You have to eat the word to understand what I'm preaching. If you don't eat the word, you're not going to get it. But when you eat the word, I don't care what you're going through, you're going to have joy. With all the disease that are taking place, all the, 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 the sickness and all the this and that. I got a prescription in my pocket right now telling me I got to take two shots. My wife told me, hold off, hold off, not yet. Why two shots for pneumonia, for this and for that? Now, I'm feeling pretty good in my body. But the doctor say, you need them, huh? But where I get my joy is when I think on the goodness of the Lord and all he's done for me. I got joy in my spirit, in my soul. I, I don't care what I'm going through. When I think about the Lord and the joy in my heart, no one can take that away from me. No sickness, no disease can take that away from me. I got joy. Now let's move on. Now Let's, let's look at Jeremiah, how he preached and how he stands before the Lord. That when all this is over, what did Jeremiah do? Jeremiah got and took it to another level. If you were to look at uh, why, it's still all about the blood. 
It's still about the blood. And it's still about sin. People don't realize how bad, how terrible sin is. We're only here for a short time. We're all going to die. We are going to die. God looking for a people who could be in that new heaven and that new earth. Huh? We are going to die. Now, I don't have to argue with you about that point. But Jeremiah was like a, a wake up call. Jeremiah, when you look in a couple of scriptures I'm going to share with you that going to set your soul on fire. You look at uh, 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 but this thing about October the 6th. I think October the 6th was when Jerusalem had this the enemy came in while so many people celebrating, having a good time. And you would think that you, I mean, that would be a place where you would want to visit. But nevertheless, the enemy came in and what happened? Take away a captive. Many of God's people still in captivity, shooting and killing, showing something on TV for you to look at how people were decapitated. Women was raped. That's not of God. But God is allowing us to see his plan is being fulfilled. You can't stop God's plan. So I watch Israel. I watch how they, how, how, how they are living and how some people say, I want to go to Jerusalem. I would like to go to Jerusalem. I wouldn't mind going, but the Spirit just doesn't need me to go yet. But I feel like you, you don't know what's going to happen. And I believe that God will bless you. You bless Israel. But there's many ways you can bless Israel without going over there. You can pray for them. You can give them offering. But you got to watch what God is doing right here in America. That Israel looking towards the United States of America. Supposed to be one of the greatest nations on the face of the earth. Huh? Supposed to be. I don't know about now. But I really believe God has blessed America People are migrating, trying to come to America, trying to come to America. But God got his hand on America. That we can be a blessing. My wife, read for me right quick where it says, uh, the, uh, sitting after 27, 24, 25. Now, I, I want you to look at this, how it's about the blood and what Jesus did that we all can understand what this is all about. Your salvation and what he has done. Jeremiah it's like a type of Christ in the Old Testament. The Old, the whole Testament is about 400 years apart. Now, just think about it. that whole Testament, beginning at Moses and all of them, was what? About the Jews. It was about God's people. Read what it says. Saint Matthew's 27, chapter 24 to 25th verse. Now we're gonna see how Jesus Christ came. Fulfill Jeremiah talking about his blood. What, what is it? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And listen to me very close now. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now listen, he said, I am innocent of the just person of this blood. That means that nobody wants blood on their hand. When a just person died, innocent person, somebody got to give an account. Now Pilate, remember, he could have did more than what he did. But remember, he was warned by a dream that his wife had to be careful how you what do with this man this just man he washed his hand and said I'm innocent of the blood the blood of Jesus Christ remember without the blood there's no remission of sin the old testament the good of good the life of the flesh is in the blood now think about the power Jerusalem had at the time. They could have accepted Jesus Christ. Like Jeremiah preached, preached, preached. Jeremiah was put in a dungeon. Jeremiah was treated so bad. Jeremiah was just told it. He, Jeremiah, like my birthday coming up. Jeremiah even almost like cursed 
the day he was born, cursed his mother, had a male child. Because of the ignition and the things that God had put on Jeremiah. Huh? That was God's anger being poured out. But God loved Jerusalem. God loved so much that he would allow Jeremiah to go through what he'd gone through. Jeremiah said, I'm just a child. Don't, don't say that. Don't, don't say that. Don't say that. Well, we know a child what? Think like a child. Act like a child. Well, when they grew up, I put away the foolish thing. But God's hand was on Jeremiah. Move back a little bit. In the same chapter, Jeremiah talked about Moses. He talked about uh, 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 Samuel. Now, how would Jeremiah know about Moses and Samuel except that God had to reveal him to their calling? And you know how Moses complained that he was studied, studied, couldn't talk hardly, how he was in a basket put inside of a river, and yet he survived it to brought, bring God's children out of bondage in Egypt. What about Samuel? Samuel was just a baby. Hannah couldn't have no children. But Samuel was born, she gave him to the temple. Samuel was one of the most greatest to me prophet that at the end of his life, when he got old, what did he say? If I wrong anybody, he, he said, come forward. And that's the way we should deal with that. If we've done wrong and anybody got something against us, don't be talking about it. Don't go around. Come to the person who's wrong. And they told oh, Samson, no, uh -uh. you're right. Samson, I washed my hand. Now it's on you. Well, let's get back to Jeremiah. How the same thing with Jeremiah having innocent blood. Now, Jeremiah was so anointed coming down to the end of his ministry until he realized and understand to kill him would be innocent blood on their hand. It, it says, uh, 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 I'll make sure I'm going to give it to you right. Jeremiah, Jeremiah, let me see. Jeremiah 16, 26, chapter 14 and 15 verse. Read that. I got so much scripture, so many stuff built up in me concerning this text that I'm preaching now. It just helped me to see Jesus Christ. 26, 14, and 15 verse. Now wait. Come on now. He's coming down to the end of his ministry, just like Christ. What he said? Before I'm in your hand. Before I'm in your hand. Don't do with me as good as evil. Do everything. You want it with me. Do what you want. In other words, we all should be able to stand like that, coming down. You may not be there yet, but you should be able to say, humble yourself. After how you've been treated, how you've been wrong, that anointing, that word of God that you didn't eat so much until you just fill of it. And Jeremiah was full of it until he, he just committed himself like Jesus Christ. What did he say? Know ye for, for certain. And this is a warning. Know ye for certain, huh? That if, death, if you kill me, that's what I like about it. If you kill me, because I'm presenting to you the word of God, huh? I'm warning you, huh? The blood gonna be on your hand. The blood gonna be on your hand. So Jeremiah was just letting them know. And, 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 and you know, they get rid of anybody who called on the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody who got anything to do, people don't know what to do, to do with you. But don't be afraid of what they're going to do to you. But you shouldn't be afraid to warn them and let them know who you are. Do what you want with them, but the blood going to be on you. And what that means? God going to deal with you. So you don't have to fight back. you just doing what God called you to do. A lot of times I find myself guilty of really witnessing the people as I ought to. But when I look back and think about you, I mean, what God is telling me, you got an opportunity to this Hampton. You got an opportunity you may not never get again. I don't care whether they like you or not. Tell them what thus said the Lord. And God will give you a way how to present it to them. You know what I mean? 
In other words, so they won't think that you're just coming up with something out of the way. You, you don't want to let them know. Do you know who I am? I'm a messenger that God sent me to you. Huh? This is not an accident or coincidence. You standing before someone that will give you the truth. Huh? I'm ready. I'm ready to die. I'm ready to offer up. But are you ready? I have, I, I've done that many times. As a person. I was angry. I said, are you ready? That means that are you ready to die with what will happen to you if you don't have Christ, if you're not born again, where will you spend eternity? I'm not saying this to bring up God to try to make it look like I'm so holy and die, but I'm telling you the truth. Let them know who I am. If anybody got anything against or know me, you speak to them. Let them know I am a true child of God. My life speaks for itself. But be careful how you treat me. The blood. Jesus Christ told Paul, huh? He let him know that the, that the blood, huh? That Jesus shed on that cross, that was a blood for the wicked, the wicked people in the world. I'm at a point now where I really believe that if you're born again, you can't be unborn. I've come to that point in life. You can't be unborn. You can't be born again the one time. But if a child of God being born again, you got to be careful that you don't tempt God in some of these things. If you truly been born again, God loves you. But I don't think he'll let you make a mess out of your life and bring shame on him. I don't believe that. I don't believe it. I believe that when you stand for God, no matter what happens, God is going to bring you out. And I try to live as long as I can to be a light to the world. Because I know when I'm gone, I don't get a second chance. But I can't unborn myself. Huh? I did what God called me to do. I've been washed in the blood. I accept the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross. I accept the death, burial, resurrection. God gave me the opportunity to be baptized. He gave me the opportunity to receive the Holy Ghost. I've done that. I can't undo that. I've seen how God has blessed me by coming to him and standing on the word. I'm not perfect, but I'm just trying to say, I've done that. I really believe, just like Jeremiah, huh? the word. I eat the word. You eat the word. You sad. Eat the word. Just start reading it if you don't understand. Eat it. You got to eat food to live, right? Come on now, talk to me. There could be more eating the Super Bowl going on now than any other time. Yes, people got to eat, huh? Sometimes they're eating for the fun of it. But when you eat the word, you eating because what? You got eternal life. You eating because you need the word. I get sick sometimes, what? but when I think about it, it might be my time for me to leave here to die. But I'm not worried, huh? Because I'm eating the word. I got joy in my heart. I feel good what? because it comes from my heart that everything will be all right. It's in my heart. Trouble don't last all way. Where can you get that from but the word? Where can you get that from? You tell me where can you can't buy it. That's a gift that God giving you, huh? And I'm so glad, huh? Just like Jeremiah, I can come and stand now and say, Lord, huh? Let them do what they want to with me, huh? I've done what you called me to do. But I don't want to take down and say, well, I'm ashamed. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm not ashamed of Jesus dying on that cross. And sometimes we don't understand it enough to follow it up. Eat the word long enough and you'll, you'll get everything God has for you in the word. Just eat it. Just keep eating. Just keep feeding on it. Because when you feed on the word, what happens? You find your relationship with God is getting stronger. You'll find that you're seeing things happen in your life that you've never had before. Many people that are watching us, and I've told people everywhere I go, I wouldn't be at Beulah if I thought this church was corrupted. If I thought pastor was corrupted. You think I would be here? No, huh? I see this as good ground, good soil. You come, you will get the word, huh? You will get the truth, huh? And I said, and I, and I said, where else would you go? He's not perfect, but I can assure you, he'll give you the opportunity to call him if you need me. You got any question if I said something or done anything or something you don't understand, call me. I'll talk to you. How many preachers do that? The minute the prophets in the old testament, they would say, and the Lord in the word, the, the, the all the true prophets always say, and the word of the Lord came to me, and thus said the Lord. Them false prophets, they ain't going to say that. They just go. Because it's a dangerous thing. God didn't allow you to say certain things. 
And the word of the Lord came to me and said, Duh. The false prophet ain't gonna use that kind of thing. He'll bypass that. But a true prophet will say, And the word of the Lord came to me. And thus what he said. That's a true prophet. That means that he understands that if you bring God into this situation, huh? Something gonna happen. And at least some old prophets, them false prophets, smart enough to know how far they go. And the Bible said, to have a dream, let them tell it as a dream. But I'm talking about you sitting up in here. Now, many people, where you go to church at? Where you go to church, where you attend church, church at? You should be happy to tell them. Huh? You should be happy to tell them. And welcome them, huh? Because what? This is good soil, huh? Am I right? You know I'm to use my will say amen. Huh? You give your tithes and your offering and all that, you believe God's going to bless you. When the man prayed a prayer of faith, you believe you're going to get a blessing. Huh? That you, you believe that. Otherwise, you're just wasting your money. You're just paying something old, rich, wash, but it make you feel good. I could be running around and have you dancing and showing up and down. Huh? But I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. I don't believe nobody actually walk out of this church here that hasn't been blessed can be the same. No matter where they go. You can't, huh? I was talking to my son last night. I was thinking about them people hanging be long. How God gives some up to a reprobate mind. To do the things, whatever you want to do. God give you up to a reprobate mind. For God said, I, 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 must, I ran into a little problem with the same situation. If God give you up to a reprobate mind, and you know you are in that state, be careful how you deal with a child of God. Huh? I'm not God, but I believe if you were in a reprobate state of mind, but God said, come out of it. Because you've been truly been born again, and you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna last in that. If you truly been born again now, ain't no way God gonna allow you to keep on living and, and put his name to shame. He's whoever's in my hand, what? No man can pluck them out. You believe you're in God's hand? If you believe you ain't God, who can pluck you out? Nobody. Nobody. Huh? So stick, eat the word, huh? Let certain things come to you when you're going through some things. Let certain things hit you in your heart. The word say. The word say, I eat the word. The word say, I eat the word. I eat the word. I extend the word more than the necessary food that I eat. That's in the scripture. I could give you whole, all kind of scripture. But you need to just get, eat the word, huh? That's all you got to do, huh? I try to explain to you how to get this and how to get that. Eat the word. Eat the word. Let the word be food for your soul. It's a spiritual thing, huh? Eating the word of God is spiritual. You can't see it with the natural eye, but the results, what? is mighty. So I close out. Anybody in here saved? Anybody here is not saved? That are watching by television, by watching by you can get all the joy and look and stay home and don't ever come out, huh? And hearing all of this, you got to give an account for it. You got to give an account for it, huh? Huh? You got to give it what you hear, huh? In your ears, you got to give an account for it. And I'm so glad that Elder Smith allowed me last night to change at the last moment because the devil was working on me big time. I told him that I couldn't come because what? Something happened on the job dealing with, you know, the same person I'm dealing with you. I mean, that into that kind of lifestyle. And I don't want to use my job as an excuse. But I, 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 I got to work. I got, sure, I don't know what I'm trying to do. Huh? Man don't work, you don't eat. I curse the root of death. And that's the way I see getting out of there. Work. Manage your money, God will bring you out. Am I right? I'm not using that no excuse. But it was God's will for me to be here. I called David and I said, you know what? Uh, something happened. What happened? I went down on the job and the trail that I was supposed to pull, the Lord went, it wasn't there. And I know that I ain't want to waste my time getting up this morning and go down there and the trail ain't there. So I called him up. I said, you know what? That trailer you got. And I just went down there to dump the garbage. I ain't went down there without problem. But I didn't see the trailer was up. Then I said, well, let me give them my boss, man. He's going to survive the call. I said, you know what? That trailer's not on the yard. He said, what? I said, it's not on the yard. I said, oh, look, they come in there late tonight. It ain't on the yard. Then he said, I'll call you right back. Then I said to myself, maybe I shouldn't have called him. I said, because the night ain't over yet. 
because the guy still can drink there tonight. He called me back, but the spirit of God must have hit him something. Hit him. Then he called me back. He said, Mr. Hampton, I'm sorry. He said, I'm sorry. He said, that load ain't going nowhere. He said, it ain't going nowhere. He didn't want to talk about it. He said, I apologize. He said, but we'll sit you up on another time. Who you think that? I was God doing. It was God will that I be here. Huh? In spite of it all, it was God's will that this had to happen. Encouraging me. Let me know. Stay fast. Rooted and grounded. You, you know what I mean? I'm going to bless you. Huh? I'm going to bless you so that you have more than enough. I'm going to bless you. You're going in and you're coming out. I'm making you the head, not the tail. So don't involve. Don't get, don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. Just let me have my way. And that's what I keep telling myself. And God is doing that. I can see it. He's doing it in a mighty way. Letting me know you know it's me, huh? Just like Jeremiah. When you do what God called you to do, huh? You get to that point. You say, well, it's all right. Go ahead and do what you will. But be careful. Don't feel bad when you let somebody warn somebody. Be careful. Be careful what you say. Be careful how you treat me. Especially when you know right from wrong. When you get a person in a backslider and then back, that person no right from wrong. And trying to hang with the wrong people, whatnot. You better off hanging by yourself than hanging with somebody what who, who opposed God. Then hanging with the wrong people. Jeremiah was alone, huh? The Bible said, God said, Don't you marry a wife in this place? Don't take no wife, huh? So that means Jeremiah never was married, according to my knowledge, huh? Because God didn't want him to marry in this place. Israel is so corrupt. But now, look at you. Israel is coming around, whether you know it or not. Because if, you, if Israel allowed people to even come in that country now and set up apostolic Holy Ghost filled church, that goes to show you what? God is on the move. But I'm going to ask those who are watching by TV, those who got a problem and not saved, hadn't been born again. I mean, I picked another word, but I want you to think about it. Huh? All of us preachers and all of us members in heaven, you see our faces. Where we at? Just remember what you heard. Just remember when you got your most rooted and grounded preaching concerning your life living and where you going when you die. Where are you going when you die? These are where are you going when you die? You're going somewhere, and that will be for eternity. Wherever you go, is it heaven or hell? And I pray to God that you would choose heaven. Huh? So don't wait. We talk about the thief on the cross and all that. That thief, he had an opportunity and he took it. But don't wait. You may not get there. He says, behold, I show you, uh, come in the moment of drinking of our eye, we should not all be asleep. Don't you know when Christ comes right now, there's going to be still some people here left behind alive. Stand on your feet. There's going to be still some people here left behind alive. Can you imagine Huh? And no Holy Ghost now. Because when we leave here, the Holy Ghost, what? It's in us. It's been taken up. But those who are left behind will have to face the mark of the beast or whatever they got to go through. And if you can't do it with the Holy Ghost, how you going to do it without the Holy Ghost? And, and, and a lot of people just need more teaching on the Holy Ghost. Just need more teaching on baptizing Jesus in the blood and see the importance of it, how you need it. How you need it. You, you got to have it. I don't see how, as for me, I don't see how you can live without it. I really don't. In a world like this, I really don't. I get a temper sometimes and burst out with anger. And I knew that was a problem for me, huh? But since I've been born again, I don't think that have happened to me about two times out of what, almost 50, 50 years I've been saved. And that got to be God. That got to be Jesus in me telling me what? Listen and think before you speak. Think before you speak. So I want to give those, and most of those are in the church, I know by faith, have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ. But you don't know, people are watching all around the world. They are looking at what's going on over at Beulah. What's going on at Beulah? And I don't think nobody's singing more hard in this praise team here. And those on the drum. I don't know. I told my son last night, I said, much as y'all hear the gospel and all the word of God, you got no excuse. You got no excuse. Much is given, much is required.
So if anybody in here is sick in their body, you need healing. Uh, we at a point right now, you know I mean, if you're sick in your body, you need healing. Some of us, I got a mask in my jacket. I got a mask everywhere you go. I got masks. And I wear my mask. Why? Follow protocol. Y'all leave me. You put it on. Put it on, huh? It's a blessing. But I'm talking about being on this earth a little bit longer to serve God. Being born again. Stand where you are. I'm talking about, I'm going to touch and agree with you right now. That for those who you've been asking that are not saved, that don't understand or haven't been born again, that you will feel different in their life because of you standing on the word. Don't be intimidated by them. Love them, love them, love them, but hold your ground. I'm going to ask that God will move upon them that are not saved. That should have been saved a long time ago. Because they've been around you. They've been around the word. And you crying out for them too. You want them to go to heaven when they die. And I pray right now that you will see a difference in their life. Now if anybody in here, in this place right now, is not sure that you've been born again, this is your opportunity to come forth. huh? Don't be ashamed. huh? But you know you've been born again. Keep eating the word. Keep drinking the word. Sleep, eat, rise up in the morning for dinner three times. Daniel prayed three times a day, huh? So why can't you eat the word three times a day, huh? For breakfast, supper, and dinner, huh? You eat the word. Eat the word until you're full of the word, huh? What you don't understand, huh? That's what God got us for, you two, huh? Women, men, and children alike. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, sickness and COVID and all Jesus these diseases, Lord. We know, oh God, hallelujah, that by your strength we were healed. And by faith we take authority over all the sickness in our body. And we will confess it and believe it. In spite of what we see, I'm healed. Physically, spiritually, say what you want to say. Yeah, but what I see, but what I see, you can't see. And I'm walking on that. And for this call, I want you to lift your hand. You hear what the song says, Lord, do it for me. Oh, Lord, do what? Do it for me. Huh? My sister, my brother, my kinfolk, but do it for me, Lord. It's me standing in the need of prayer. Lord, do it for me, Lord. Do it for me, Lord. It's me, Lord. Do it for me, Lord. Let them see, Lord, that you have did it for me, Lord. Fix it for me. Fix it, fix it, Lord. Fix it, fix it. Oh, Lord, fix it, fix it, fix it. Thank God for Frank back in the place. You know the Lord is fixing it. You are here by his grace. There's enough power in the church to touch and agree. And whatever it is, we can bind the yeah. demon spirit, huh? In the name of Jesus. I know you have a service this afternoon. Young people. And I pray that these Super Bowl that's happening, these men and women, do it for me. Somebody gonna win. But you are a winner when you receive Jesus Christ. You are a winner. So it doesn't matter, Super Bowl. Do it for me. We, we, we not, we're going to prolong it. do you have anything you want to say? And I thank God for the opportunity. Huh? This is a miracle for me. Because I know this is a miracle for me. I'll never forget this day, what the Lord have done last night. This is a miracle. huh? I try to Deny that it's a miracle, then I said it's a miracle. The priest just messes. Eat the word. Eat the word. Who can stop you from eating the word? Huh? Eat the word. Be like the Ethiopian, huh? He was found reading the Bible, eating the word. God sent him help. Didn't understand what he was reading, but God sent him help. When you eat that word, God will send you some help to help you understand what you don't understand. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's it. That's it. I believe that it's done. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
the enemy trying to stop but he couldn't do it but I'm asking you to bless each and every one of us that put foot in this house today that their coming will not have been in vain that there's a special blessing for them that they can share with others You may not want to greet each other and hug each other like you normally do. But just a whisper, fist bump, hey! It, 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 it letting you know you are me. I'm in agreement. And in the name of Jesus, we separate ourselves from the house of privilege, not from your divine presence. We let your Holy Spirit watch and rule over us until you come in that day. We'll be taken up to meet you in there. In Jesus' name we pray and we ask all the redeemer of the Lord. Say amen. amen. Say amen. 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 So be it that we will agree that it's done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you.